This video will cover the topic, Domains and Ranges of Trigonometric Functions. Let's begin by reviewing the definition of domain and range. Domain is the set of possible values of the independent variable or variables of a function. Range is the set of values that a given function can take as its argument varies. Let's apply these definitions to a practice problem. Define the domain and range of the following functions y equals the cosecant of x, y equals the cotangent of x, and y equals the sine of x. How can I start this problem? To define the domains and ranges of these functions, it will be helpful to have some knowledge about the graphs of these trigonometric functions. The graph of y equals cosine of x looks like this. The domain of y equals the cosine of x is all real numbers and the range of the set of all real numbers from negative 1 to 1. We can determine this by looking at an angle x on a coordinate plane. Note that for any angle x, the point a, b will have real number coordinates, therefore there is no restriction on x, meaning there is no restriction on the domain. The graph of y equals sine of x looks like this. y equals the sine of x has the domain of the set of all real numbers and the range is the set of all real numbers from negative 1 to 1. Similar to the domain of y equals the cosine of x, we can determine the domain of y equals sine of x by looking at an angle x on a coordinate plane. Note that for any angle x, the point a, b will have real number coordinates. Therefore, there is no restriction on x, meaning there is no restriction on the domain. The graph of y equals the secant of x looks like this. y equals the secant of x has the domain of the set of all real numbers except odd integer multiples of pi over 2 and the range is the set of all real numbers less than or equal to negative 1 or greater than or equal to 1. We can determine the domain of y equals the secant of x by looking at an angle x on a coordinate plane. Note that for any angle x, the point a, b is where that angle terminates on the unit circle and y equals the secant of x equals 1 over a. Therefore, the angle x can be any value as long as a is not equal to 0. Where is a equal to 0? a is equal to 0 at the points 0, 1 and 0, negative 1 on the unit circle. And since the point 0, 1 corresponds to the angles of pi over 2, negative 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, negative 7 pi over 2, and so on, and the point 0, comma, negative 1 corresponds to the angles negative pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, negative 5 pi over 2, 7 pi over 2, and so on, we can see that a is equal to 0 when x is an odd integer multiple of pi over 2. This tells us that the domain of y equals the secant of x is a set of all real numbers except odd integer multiples of pi over 2. The graph of y equals the cosecant of x looks like this. y equals the cosecant of x has the domain of the set of all real numbers except the integer multiples of pi, and the range is the set of all real numbers less than or equal to negative 1 or greater than or equal to 1. We can determine the domain of y equals the cosecant of x by looking at an angle x on a coordinate plane. Note that for any angle x, the point a, b will be the point at which that angle terminates on the unit circle, and y equals the cosecant of x equals 1 over b. Therefore, the angle x can be any value as long as b is not 0. Where is b equal to 0? b is equal to 0 at 1, 0 and negative 1, 0 on the unit circle. And since the point 1, 0 corresponds to the angles of 0, positive and negative 2 pi, positive and negative 4 pi, and so on, and the point negative 1, 0 corresponds to the angles positive and negative pi, positive and negative 3 pi, positive and negative 5 pi, and so on, we can see that b is equal to 0 when x is an integer multiple of pi. This tells us that the domain of y equals the cosecant of x is the set of all real numbers except integer multiples of pi. 
The graph of y equals the tangent of x looks like this and has the domain of the set of all real numbers except the odd integer multiples of pi over 2 and the range of all real numbers. We can determine the domain of y equals the tangent of x by looking at an angle x on a coordinate plane. Note that for any angle x, the point a, b will be the point at which that angle terminates on the unit circle, and y equals the tangent of x equals b over a. Therefore, the angle x can be any value as long as a is not equal to zero. Where is a equal to zero? a is equal to zero at zero comma one and zero comma negative one on the unit circle. And since the point 0, 1 corresponds to the angles of pi over 2, negative 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, negative 7 pi over 2, and so on, and the point 0, negative 1 corresponds to the angles negative pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, negative 5 pi over 2, 7 pi over 2, and so on, we can see that a is equal to 0 when x is an odd integer multiple of pi over 2. This tells us that the domain of y equals the tangent of x is the set of all real numbers except odd integer multiples of pi over 2. How can we determine what the range of tangent of x is? The value of tangent of x equals b divided by a is the slope of the line joining the origin and the point a comma b. The slope is positive for x is greater than 0 and less than pi over 2 and negative for x is greater than pi over 2 and less than pi. As x increases from 0 and approaches pi over 2, the slope increases and approaches positive infinity. In other words, tangent of x can be 0 or any positive number. As x decreases from pi and approaches pi over 2, the slope decreases from 0 and approaches negative infinity. In other words, tangent can be 0 or any negative number. Therefore, the range of y equals tangent of x is the set of all real numbers. The graph of y equals the cotangent of x looks like this, and has the domain of the set of all real numbers except the integer multiples of pi, and the range of the set of all real numbers. We can determine the domain of y equals the cotangent of x by looking at an angle x on a coordinate plane. Note that for any angle x, the point a, b will be the point at which that angle terminates on the unit circle, and y equals the cotangent of x equals a over b. Therefore, the angle x can be any value as long as b does not equal 0. b is equal to 0 at 1, 0 and negative 1, 0 on the unit circle, and since the point 1, 0 corresponds to the angles of 0 plus or minus 2 pi, plus or minus 4 pi, and so on, and the point negative 1 comma 0 corresponds to the angles plus or minus pi, plus or minus 3 pi, plus or minus 5 pi, and so on, we can see that b is equal to 0 when x is an integer multiple of pi. This tells us that the domain of y equals the cotangent of x is the set of all real numbers except integer multiples of pi. How can we determine what the range of cotangent of x is? If we consider the reciprocal of each real number that we looked at when considering the range of tangent of x except 0, we get all the real numbers except 0. From this we know that the cotangent of x equals a divided by b can be any non-zero real number. Furthermore, when x is an odd integer multiple of pi over 2, we have cotangent of x equals plus or minus 0 divided by 1, which equals 0. Thus, the range of y equals the cotangent of x is the set of all real numbers. Now that we have this information, can you fill in the blanks on this problem? I think so. For our problem, we were asked about y equals the cosecant of x, y equals the cotangent of x, and y equals the sine of x. Referring to the facts we have previously discussed, we can choose the appropriate answers. For y equals the cosecant of x, the domain is the set of all real numbers except integer multiples of pi, and the range is the set of all real numbers less than or equal to negative 1 or greater than or equal to 1. For y equals the cotangent of x, the domain is the set of all real numbers except integer multiples of pi, 
and the range is the set of all real numbers. For y equals the sine of x, the domain is the set of all real numbers, and the range is the set of all real numbers from negative 1 to 1. Can we use this same information to determine the domain and range in other problems of this type? Absolutely. It sounds like you have a good understanding of this topic.